Good morning, friends. This is Durga again from IT Varsity, a one stop shop to learn all the technologies. Uh, at this time, we are talking about setting up virtual machines on uh, a bare metal server provisioned from ovh.com. We have set up uh, e uh, ESXA on that bare metal server, and now we are in the process of setting up PFSense. So, we have already seen the concepts of, concept of virtual router. Uh, so, a virtual router is primarily created. Uh, for our virtual machines to communicate within each other without uh, uh, going to the external uh, switches. And uh, we have done uh, all the groundwork uh, by having the IP address uh, or by buying the IP address uh, so that we can assign a public IP to PFSense. And also we have created ad additional port groups and uh, additional switch uh, so that we can actually have both WAN for public networking and LAN for private networking using PFSense as virtual router. So we'll go ahead and see uh, the other details. Okay, so you can see now, um, as part of uh, last video towards the end, I tried to refresh uh, this page and it took a very long time and now it is refreshed successfully and you can see uh, virtual switches, vSwitch0 and vSwitch1 and even if you click on more networks, you, you will not see uh, that VM network, you will only see WAN, LAN and the management network under port groups. Okay. Now we have to create our first virtual machine and then we have to set up PFSense on that. Virtual machine uh, is like a physical server which will have VAM, CPU, storage, etc. And then we have to uh, install software on top of it. So to click on virtual machines and then select create um, or register uh, a virtual machine in this I, I would like to create a new virtual machine i am not going to deploy existing one or registering uh, an existing one deploy a template or registering an ex existing one so click on next give the name name is pf sense and here you have to select the guest OS family. We, we are only telling which OS will be installed on this. As part of this step, we are not installing OS or anything. We are just telling this VM is primarily for so and so OS. So select guest OS family, other, and we will be in setting up free BSD on it. And then click on next. So storage, the virtual machine will be created under data store one itself. Um, that's the storage which is created uh, after setting up the ESXi host and we'll be using data store one itself. Click on next. Here it will prompt you to customize settings. Uh, this is the most important uh, uh, thing which you need to focus. Okay, you see there is only one network adapter and it is pointing to LAN. Let's make it it is pointing to van and then expand this one okay and mac address we should not use automatic instead we have to use manual van is for public networking so here we are trying to connect our uh, uh, ip address with uh, uh, the port group which uh, which was created uh, earlier uh, to, to our virtual machine. Okay, this is a very important step. WAN is a port group which is created as part of the last video. And uh, uh, it is connected to uh, vSwitch 0. Okay, vSwitch 0 uh, can be used for public networking and to, to make, uh, to facilitate us to access this uh, uh, virtual machine through public IP uh, uh, from external to OVH, we have to assign the MAC address of that public IP. So that MAC address is also generated as part of the last video. Uh, so copy this one and then paste it here. You will be able to only paste when you change it to manual. So now WAN is pointing to this MAC which means that IP address 144, 217, 51, 20 will be mapped to this uh, virtual machine. We will be able to access uh, this virtual machine using that public IP 
once the OS is set up. We cannot access directly, so we have to wait until OS is set up. And then click on next, so that it is saved and go, click on back. Okay, now you, you see and the network one adapter, the name is changed to network adapter one, earlier the name was a little bit different and here you can see in the, the details are preserved. Now we have to add one more network adapter for private networking, okay and here you don't need to change anything, it is automatically, yes, uh, LAN is automatically selected, LAN is nothing but a port group which is not assigned to any of the physical adapters or physical equipment. It is just a virtual thing which we have created. First we have created a switch called vSwitch1 without any uplink. Uh, so we are not pointing that vSwitch1 to any of the external devices. And then we have created a port group called LAN uh, using the vSwitch1. Okay. You can review this, leave it as automatic and then click on next okay and then finish so now we have a virtual machine it has ram i didn't review this uh, those details i will do that now so here if you select this one and click on actions and click on edit settings this virtual machine have ram cpu storage and uh, the network switches so it is ready for us uh, it is ready uh, to for the uh, for the setting up of operating system on it so you can see that cpu is one we have given one cpu we have 16 uh, uh, threads uh, on this machine we, one is enough for pf sense if you want more you can assign more and the memory is only 1 GB, that is more than enough. If you want, we can change any time later. And uh, hard disk, I am planning to give 32 GB. Okay. Out of 1.81 terabyte uh, uh, storage available. And then we already have given network adapter, LAN and WAN. Okay, here something is bad, it is not saved properly. So let me change it to WAN and uh, let me change it to manual paste that mac and then lan i thought when i click on next it has saved it does not uh, so it is very important to order like this first we, you have to get network adapter as wan and then you have to get a network adapter as lan and here it should be automatic okay so network adapter wan uh, adapter type E1000, MAC address, manual and we have to copy paste uh, the address from here and then um, for LAN, the second one change it to LAN and make sure you have MAC address as automatic, this will go away uh, automatically. Now if you click on save and uh, if you click on actions and edit settings. This is a very very important important step. You have to make sure that everything is configured properly. Otherwise, you will see surprises later. Okay, so spend uh, enough time and make sure that everything is configured properly. If you go to LAN, anyway, let us make sure that this is deleted to avoid any surprises, and then change it to automatic, and then save. So now we have. Um, uh, uh, one CPU, one GB RAM, and uh, thirty-two GB hard disk. Okay, and uh, then we also assigned uh, a public network uh, using port group WAN and private network using port group LAN. And now we have to set up operating system on it. It's a virtual machine. It it will not have CD drive, and how we can actually 
set up operating system on it that to uh, remotely so for that what you have to do click on actions go to edit settings and this is where our shared directory comes into picture so if you remember the steps uh, after setting up the ESXi we have downloaded pfSense and CentOS to a location called data store 1 shared okay let me sh show you that I am cancelling this one and uh, if you go to storage click on data store 1 data store browser there is a shared location here this pfms is the virtual machine name which we have created so it will create uh, all the necessary files for that virtual machine in that location we should not touch that at all uh, go to the shared and you can see there are two iso images iso images are nothing but mountable uh, uh, those images can be mounted as cd drives to do whatever we want so we have an iso image for pfms and we have an ISO image for CentOS. If uh, if it is not showing up like this, most likely pfSense might be a, a gzip file. If that is the case, you have to connect to that uh, uh, machine or ESXi host. vmfs volumes data store 1 shared ls ltr and you can see there are two isos right if um, actually what we have downloaded and uploaded for pfsense is a gzip file if you see gzip file here you might not see a CD icon here. If that is the case, log into the server and then run command called gunzip, which will uh, unzip that uh, compressed file. And then you will see a ISO file like this. Okay, you have to make sure you execute this step. Okay, so now we will be using this to set up the uh, uh, operating system and uh, whatever we need to do. Uh, to set up both public networking and private networking uh, which means that we will try to use that virtual machine as a uh, virtual router okay so now go go back to the virtual machines select pf sense go to actions go to edit settings okay and now we have to add other device because there is no cd drive here so we have to click on add other device and click on cd or dvd drive and here you have to select data store iso file it's under data store one shared if you want to set up pfsense we have to use pfsense iso if you want to set up centos we have to use centos iso in this case we are trying to set up pfsense and remember when we actually set up the virtual machine at that time we have to use uh, we have to set the guest operating system to appropriate uh, operating system otherwise there could be some issues and we have chosen free bsd for this okay so make sure you choose free bsd we will review those things okay it is not available here that information is not available here probably it, it might be under vm options Yeah, if you go to general options, make sure the guest OS is other and version is free BSD. Okay, it's similar to Linux, but not exactly Linux. Okay, and we have added uh, the CD or DVD drive pointing to our PFSense ISO and click on save. And make sure it is uh, connected, power on is selected, it will be selected automatically. If it is not selected, make sure it is selected. Now we have set up the virtual machine. Uh, we have uh, uh, given one CPU 
1 GB memory. You can review those details here also. Cast OS is free BSD and 32 GB hard disk. And then we have assigned two networks, uh, uh, two network adapters. One is WAN, which is uh, 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 which, for which MAC address is manual, and uh, uh, this is copied as the MAC address. And the other one is LAN. Second network adapter assigned to this is LAN, and we leave it as automatic. And uh, then we have uh, add a new device called CD. And then and that CD is pointing to the ISO image of PFSense so that we can actually start setting up the operating system. That being said, that's it for now. We will see how to set up PFSense and how to configure it for public as well as private networking as part of the next video. And if you like this video, please click on the like button. If you want to provide the feedback, please use the comment section of the video. If you want to discuss further on any of these technologies, please subscribe to my channel yet and stay tuned. I am working on a common platform where we can discuss together and learn any technology we want to learn. That being said, thank you. Bye.